Okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for bearing with me and giving me some time over the last, uh, I think it's two weeks, but I did have one video go out. I actually had another video filmed, I actually had another two videos filmed, one of which will still be coming, the other one I am refilming now for you. Where do I start? So the last two weeks have been a little bit of a blur, I'm not gonna lie. On Thursday morning, two weeks ago to the day, we realized that Lynx hadn't come home and he's been missing ever since. I filmed this video before I went on holiday. I did actually manage to vlog a little bit whilst I was on holiday, so that will be coming as well. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed and explain where we're at and the last two weeks to you and where we're kind of going with things. So Lynx left the house at 9.30 on Wednesday and we have not seen him since. We have checked all of our CCTV. We have flyered in many of the towns and I will also be going out and flyering today but this time I'll be putting them through people's doors with a lot more information about Lynx. He hasn't been seen, there are no confirmed sightings and it's been incredibly hard. I, do you know what, I'm actually quite shocked because I feel like I'm gonna cry now, but I've been so good. But I think when you sit down and you talk about it, it's a lot harder. So, I mean, my God, the last video I filmed, I was an absolute mess throughout that. And I filmed that and I think I was still in quite a negative headspace about it. We've been in a bit of a, on a bit of a journey with it and trying to understand and work out what happened to Lynx. We found ourselves jumping to conclusions and just letting our thoughts and fears and things like that just run away with ourselves and I don't know some days I have days when I'm really positive that you know he's going to come home and then there are other days when I have these visions in my head that are probably the worst thing about this I think the visions that I have of where he could be or what could have happened to him are the things that really really hurt the most and are the things that cause me the biggest amount of stress and heartache we obviously miss him like i can't even explain to you the 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 pain that we have felt and that we have been through as a couple these last two weeks it's just been it's been hell and it hit us more than we could ever have imagined and i think it's obviously highlighted to us our relationship with our cats which i think you know i think it's quite evident the way Ali and I are with them but it's been the toughest thing I think I've ever been through and there's a lot of what we went through that I'm very glad that none of you saw quite honestly but yeah it's we've sort of turned a page with it and I don't think we'll ever stop searching for links and the hardest is like obviously when I go on my runs or when we just drive out of our house just constantly searching and looking and keeping an eye out for him is torturous in itself. I can't imagine ever stopping doing that so that's that's pretty much on the agenda for the rest of my life now. We did everything that you're supposed to do in a situation like this and we followed all of the guides and all of the information from hanging our clothes, which still hang outside of our house now, and we change them regularly so that our scent is there, to emptying our hoover outside so that he can find his way home. The only thing we didn't do was the litter trays because they don't have litter trays because they were allowed in the garden, so that was where they would go and do their business. So his scent should already be fully in our garden. We did also try to hire a pet detective or the pet detective. He didn't seem very interested in taking our case. In fact, he didn't want to get back to our emails either, which was really heartbreaking because we are now past the time really where we can do that. So maybe if he had told us straight, I, I'm obviously quite upset about that as well because if he had been honest with us that he didn't want to take our case, we could have potentially tried to at least find someone else. Our family and our friends have been amazing. We've obviously been searching and they've helped us and our family have held the fort for us. They've lifted us up. We also succeeded in probably making him the most famous cat in Britain. Just a huge thank you to everyone in the industry, but everyone that is also, you know, an audience of 
online creators because it's not just the people that had millions of followers that shared links it's also the people that had a hundred followers or a thousand followers every single person that shared links helped us get his face out there giving us the most probable chance of finding him and both Ali and myself are incredibly grateful and we were just it, it was almost like a I don't know how to say like a a silver lining in what was such a dark time for us because I'm not sure if, I, if Ali feels the same but I've never really felt like I'm part of the YouTube online creator community but the support that we received from the very moment that we posted about links being missing was more than than either of us could ever have hoped for and so we're just so grateful and for the people that continue to share and continue to look for him we are not giving up even if sometimes we do feel like we want to and it's too upsetting to keep looking we don't and we're so grateful for the people that continue to share him continue to keep a lookout sending us pictures of cats that they think could have been links i mean some of them honestly i've had to like double take i'm like oh my god is that links unfortunately none of them have been links but we are still remaining hopeful because we we read all of the messages and the stories of cats that disappeared for <laughs> lifetimes and then return and so that gives us hope it really i think it has really changed our mindset from what was a very negative mindset and we're still you know we still have our ideas of what could have happened to him we hope that that's not the case and we hope that he has just gone on an adventure but yeah we just we're trying to remain positive it also opens up a whole new line of attack for people for me obviously in previous videos I've spoken about online negativity and online hatred. It's a strange old thing to experience when you are like rock bottom because I have had a bit of a tough time sometimes when I've struggled with online negativity. Never have I not been able to do my job. I've always been able to do my job. However, from the moment that links went missing, I genuinely didn't think that there would ever be a time that I would be able to sit with you guys and speak to you again. I, I felt like my joy had been stolen and I still feel like that. I'm, I'm slowly pushing myself to do the things that give me joy again, but I, you know, I didn't want to come home and if you've been around here for a while, you'll know how much I love my house, but coming home was torturous. Walking through the door and realizing that he still wasn't home was a pain I can't put into words. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's been a very interesting experience and I've learned a lot about myself. I've also learned a lot about my husband. I've learned that I am able to depend on him in a way that I never imagined because whilst he was trying to hold himself up, he was also holding me up because there was absolutely no way that I could hold myself up. I just, I cried. I spent days, days on the sofa just crying and... It was horrible, absolutely horrible. And it still is horrible. We're still living this nightmare, so <laughs> I have to remember that this is still our reality. I'm glad that I'm filming this video again because I was just, yeah, I was a shadow of my former self when I filmed this before. So I'm glad that I was gonna upload it on Monday and I couldn't upload it. So I'm, I'm quietly thankful for that, that I'm able to now sit here and just speak to you on a little bit of a level but we just want to say both Ali and I because I drew the short straw in this I had to film this video but we just wanted to say how thankful we are for everyone's help the people that stopped us in the street to say that they were looking and just the people that continue to help us look I also want to say that for every week so every Wednesday I will be posting his poster on my social media because I obviously have that platform I don't want to overkill it and just turn my platform into a find links page but I also have to keep searching and so I've said that every week I will repost the fact that he is missing until we find out what happened to him or until we just accept that maybe he isn't going to come home. Part of me does think that something is stopping us. I, I, I'm a strong believer in fate. I sometimes trust that if I'm not 
finding something out. Maybe it's because I'm not supposed to find it out. And it was very bizarre how the pet detective person just, you know, there was no reason why he didn't want to take our case or he didn't give us a reason. And so perhaps I'm not supposed to find out what happened to Lynx for my own sanity <laughs> and head space. So yes, at the moment, Ali and I are searching for the reason behind this. We understand that there must be a reason. There must be a reason why we are going through this and why we're experiencing it. And perhaps Lynx was sent to us to teach us lessons. And we, yeah, we're just trying to make sense of the whole thing and try and, and continue on in our lives, but with Lynx in our hearts always because it's not like we want to get over it or move on from it that's not what's supposed to happen with this journey we have to live with it and cope with it until he either comes home or we find out what happened so yeah I will obviously put all of the information about links and I will insert like pictures and things like that on screen so that you can see what he looks like but all of his identifying features as well I'll put in the description box down below if you are in the vicinity or even if you just think that you see a cat that is a lynx bengal without a collar check his tail because at the end of lynx's tail he had a little kink it was almost like the end of his tail went like like that and so he had like a little bump that's the biggest identifying feature of him I would say you just run your hand up the tail and you would be able to feel that bump. Obviously he does have a cross eye, but his cross eye is only usually there when he's tired. That was why I didn't really make such a big deal out of it, because sometimes he's not cross-eyed, it's only when he's like tired. He also, this is my favorite one, on his bum, where his balls were, <laughs> he had like an upside down black heart. It's a little, little black heart on his bum. But I would say that the tail is the best place to go to look for him. He obviously has rosettes and not spots, but then had stripes around his arms as well. But like I said, I will be popping pictures of links on screen and all of this information in the description box down below. I also want to say that my job continues and I gave myself time to want to come back and do this. And I feel able to do this now just because I'm doing the content that I once did before doesn't mean that behind the scenes we won't be doing more. Like I said, we will be continuing our search. It just won't necessarily be documented on here because we've used our platform and we will continue to use our platforms in a way that feels comfortable to us, that doesn't hinder what we do. But if I receive another message that says, oh, Obviously you don't care that your cat is dead. <laughs> if I receive another one of those messages, it's just the most ridiculous thing and it's just such a stupid mentality to have. Life goes on. I can't do anything, you know? I can't stop the fact that life continues, the world still turns. It doesn't mean that the sorrow that is inside of me isn't feeling like it's going to consume me at every moment. So it might, appear like everything is hunky-dory but that is that's me keeping on keeping on basically so if you could kindly try not to kick me whilst i am just trying to keep on keeping on <laughs> that would be great i think that that is pretty much all i have to say because our life is trying to find links right now yes life generally will continue but my life update is devoted to links right now and um, I am going to go and help my husband put together some new flyers so that we can go and distribute those where we live yeah if you have any information about links please do get in contact via info at lydiaelisemillen.com please try not to send it to me in messages because they get lost and i would hate to miss anything so if you have any valuable information about links please 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 just email it to us we are offering a reward a reward which we are not disclosing but it is more than you would get for links if you were trying to sell him because he is essentially worthless just in case we don't know what happened to links this is just a possibility that someone might have taken him in the hope to sell him. Lynx is neutered. Lynx is essentially an adult cat. 
therefore he might be worth a couple of hundred quid we are offering a lot more than that to get him home so if you do know about links or if you have any idea of where he might be and that leads to us finding him we will have no questions about how you got the information or how you got links we will just pay the money and we will welcome him home hopefully <laughs> But that is, yeah, we, we are offering essentially more than you would ever be able to get for links if you were trying to sell him. A lot more. <laughs> so other than that, hopefully this rambly life update is enough to kind of bring you up to speed on where we are. But just know, because I know that we receive a lot of suggestions like putting the litter tray, obviously I've touched on that, CCTV, checking our house. I mean, that was the first thing we did. We checked the house checking our neighbors houses even the ones that are on holiday we've done all of that but you just keep those ideas coming and if you have any information please 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 just get in contact thank you for bearing with me thank you to my husband ali for everything that he has done for me in this really really crap time and yeah i'm sorry that i don't have the fairy tale ending for you yet that we hope for but Fingers crossed it comes. Fingers crossed that one day he will just come falling through the cat flap like he always did. Fingers crossed. Lumi, however, is living her best life. I know that a few people wanted to know, but Lumi is living her best life. She's a very happy camper. She wasn't best friends with Lynx, <laughs> but thank you for bearing with me and I'll see you in my next video, which is a vlog. And I believe there is a small portion of Lynx in that vlog as well, because I did start filming the day before Lynx. No, in fact, it was the day that Lynx disappeared. He disappeared the night that I started filming the next vlog. So just so you know, you will see the very last piece of footage that I have of him. And I actually took a picture of it as well. So it's the last picture I have of him. It's in that video. So thank you so much for watching.